What's up guys, this is Coach Donnie with ElevateYourself.org. I'm here at the park again to do my morning workout. It's 7.30 a.m. and I'm starting my day first off with a nice relaxing hot shower. Although I think I took a little too long because I ended up leaving the house a little later than I expected, but it felt great so I'm okay with that. So the first workout of today is my plyometric workout. And unfortunately, I'm actually still really sore from my last workout two days ago, which was a ballistic weight workout. And I did a lot of sprints for my high intensity interval training and my thighs are still pretty sore. But sometimes that's okay to train sore because that's part of the challenge of progressive overload. Usually when I go to the park, I like to finish off my jump training sessions with some dunk attempts, but I will be doing some volleyball training later today. So I wanna make sure I save my jumping for the volleyball session in the afternoon. It's a little chilly this morning. As you can see, I'm all suited up. So let's get started. I had to take off my jacket because I think that hot shower actually made me really hot, which is a good thing because now I'm fully warm, even though it is cold right now. If you guys want to learn more about the specific plyometric exercises in this workout, make sure you check out my full jump training video that goes into detail about how to do these exercises and why you need to do them in that specific order. And I'll leave that video for you guys in the description box. Man, my quads are pumped up now that I've been doing double days. Definitely feel my thighs getting thicker. And especially after today's hot shower, got that blood flowing. plyometric workout and my thighs are definitely sore probably won't be jumping very high during the volleyball session but still got to get those reps in just got home and it's Thursday which means we have a volleyball workout over zoom with my Moreau Catholic girls volleyball team and as I'm guiding them in the workout I always try to make sure I get my nutrition right after my workout and this is my protein shake that has 50 grams of protein complex carbohydrates and all the essential vitamins and minerals so I can recover for my next workout. So unfortunately, my gym won't be opening anytime soon. So this week I started offering outdoor training to people who still wanna train in person. And there's been a lot of safety protocol put in place. I will always be wearing a mask. I'll be six to eight feet away from the client. And of course, sanitizing the equipment throughout the workout. So here we got our yoga mat set up dumbbells and of course our sanitizing equipment. just finished now I gotta wipe down the equipment because I will be training other people in the future and also for my own safety so I have to be safe and always practice good COVID-19 hygiene it felt great to work with an in-person client again even though the online personal training has been going really well and I've enjoyed working with people outside of California I do miss the in-person interaction so it's great to work with her again 
The next stop is Lake Elizabeth to get some volleyball reps with Kai. I've been doing a lot of driving around today. I started listening to audiobooks as a way to make use of my time. And the book I'm currently listening to is Relentless by Tim Grover, who is Michael Jordan's Kobe Bryant and Dwayne Wade's personal trainer. As an entrepreneur, I'm always trying to find ways to maximize my time and to better myself every day. So I encourage you guys to also do the same thing with your own time. To get ready for my volleyball session, I got a nectarine and a pluot, great sources of energy and a protein shake for recovery. We just got to Lake Elizabeth. We finished setting up the net pretty quickly now that we've done this so many times. So definitely look forward to saving more time for our reps. And the legs are still sore from the workout this morning and the workout from two days ago. But I don't know about you guys, every time I see a volleyball net or I'm about to play volleyball, I feel like all the pain at that moment just kind of goes away and I'm just excited to touch a ball and get some reps. got 13 rallies on our first pepper. That's a, a new accomplishment. Usually it takes like three or four tries to even get past 10. So it's good to see it's that progress. Today's workout is gonna be the third week in a row where we're gonna be focusing on our right side hitting, setting. Jump around. Jump around. And then trying out some new movement patterns for or grooving new passing patterns to continue to make our passing more precise and more efficient. So that's what we're working on today. For setting, I'm working on trying to get my feet directly under the ball and being neutral and making sure my hands are even on release. Perfect. Perfect.
another day of some great quality reps. I was a little nervous about jumping today because my legs were already so tired. And especially after those first five to 10 hits on the right side, I kept waffling the ball and I could not get good contact. And I was thinking to myself, I might not have any more lift in my legs. But I think it's because I jumped straight from setting into spiking and I didn't really warm up my jump. So I gotta make sure that even though my body is warm, I might not be skill specific warm. So I gotta go through some jumping motions to really get that spring into my legs. But once I felt jumping warm, this is probably the best I've hit on the right side since I've started these outdoor volleyball reps. I definitely feel my vertical increasing, especially with this new jump training program that I put myself on. And if you guys wanna increase your own vertical at home, make sure you check out my bodyweight jump training program, which is 12 weeks and you'll see your vertical gradually increase over three months and minimize those joint injuries along the way. My legs are definitely done for today and I'm very hungry. I'm having trouble thinking of a place to eat, but I know I wanna eat a lot of protein to help myself recover and also lots of carbs to restore my glycogen. Got my little eye robot trying it for the first time and they actually did a pretty good job cleaning the house while I was gone, so another way to be more efficient with my time. Good job, little guy. Usually, after I play, I like to go straight to a restaurant and buy some food to go because I'm really hungry, but I couldn't think of a good restaurant that I was craving, so I decided to come home. And I remember that I still got some rotisserie chicken from Safeway, rice, and I'm actually just craving some panchan. And we got this really good kimchi from Santa Clara. I'm gonna cook some eggs with that too.